Hey hey my dear pirates, you are on channel, Straw Hats One Piece Theories. And in today's video we're going to talk about the new powers and weapons of the members of the Straw Hat Pirates created by Luffy's Nika Powers. Exactly, my dear pirate, just as we talked about the possibility of Luffy creating a sword for Zoro, could he not do the same by creating a new slingshot for Usopp and a new climb attack for Nami? Who knows how to perfect Frankie's body, making it even more powerful and indestructible. Can you imagine this scenario where Luffy starts sending the powers of his devil fruit to his allies to make them stronger? Well, we're going to analyze all this in today's video. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit. And if you're new here, my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now without further ado let's get to this epic video. And well my dear pirate, it's not today that I'm commenting in the videos about the possibility that Luffy has to create inanimate objects through the power of his devil fruit, and that doesn't just have to do with those glasses he created from his hair. In fact, there are many other things that confirm that this possibility of creating anything that Luffy has is really true. First we have to remember everything he did in his fight against Kaido and Rob Lucci, Luffy changed the environment several times in these fights besides the fact that he changed the body of his opponents in some moments, but the key point to prove that the Luffy can do anything is described in Road to Laugh Tale Volume 3. I may be sounding repetitive on this subject, but it's really quite clear that Luffy is only limited to his imagination, Road to Laugh Tale Volume 3 makes that very clear, and as one detail, all of this is just based on what he saw in his fight against Kaido since to face Rob Lucci he didn't even need to try that hard. So it's good to always emphasize these details because someone can always appear saying that I'm saying an untruth, when in fact I'm just raising a hypothesis based precisely on what Eiichiro Oda's work says, and if Oda says that Luffy has the power to transform your thoughts into reality, it's because Luffy has that power. If you want to understand this better, just watch the videos on the cards set in the right corner of the screen, because now we're going to talk directly about what it would be like if Luffy created these armaments for his friends based on Nika's power. And for starters, let's talk about Nami's climb attack. This staff that was perfected by Usopp from the simple staff that Nami had in the past, has become one of the coolest weapons to see used in one piece. And well, for Usopp the climb attack was just a gadget to use for simple tricks, but what Nami did with it using all her intelligence was really absurd, and after the time skip, Usopp and Frankie assigned even more technologies and their knowledge to Nami's sorcery climb attack, which was already absurdly powerful that we saw the birth of the fourth version of climb attack, a version that Nami uses until today and that was able to tame the homie Big Mom Zeus. And since we are talking about Zeus, this is exactly where I see an advantage of Luffy lending Nika's powers to Nami even if it is on a temporary basis. Because if Nami before obtaining Big Mom's Zeus Cloud was already able to create powerful balls of lightning, with Zeus her powers increased even more, but if we add Nika's powers to Nami's climb attack, well, things can really get out of hand. A while ago, they theorized that Enel's return was near because Luffy had mastered lightning in his fight against Kaido, in other words, they said that Luffy would need a master to master lightning. But what we saw was Luffy wielding a huge lightning in his hand very easily. Now think of a lightning of that magnitude and combine it with the powers of Nami and Zeus. Yes, my dear pirate, you would have a lightning user with a destruction potential as absurdly great as Enel. Of course, we're only focusing on Nami's electrical powers, but there are still other elements that could make a whole video just talking about it. But we still have Frankie and Usopp to talk about. From Frankie because he's just a humanoid robot. To this day there are fans who dream of the mode, Frankie, Super Thousand Sunny, that's right, a fusion of Frankie with Sunny. And although this is a little strange I confess that it would be fun, after all the boats in One Piece are part of the crew too, aren't they? But for Frankie the basics would be enough, of course he can come out with more advanced technology than the current arc, but giving Frankie resistance to the point of becoming indestructible would be the most interesting thing. Frankie suffers from the same problem as the kid, 
both for using many mechanical parts end up depending too much on spare parts in their bodies, as well as on loads of fuel and this limits their powers, but if Frankie has the ability to become indestructible thanks to the Nika's powers, well, then things were going to get interesting. I would really like to see Frankie facing a heavyweight opponent, just like Zoro facing King or Sanji against Jabura or Bon Clay. Maybe giving Frankie a little more stamina gives him what he needs to gain a bigger foothold in one piece. And last, but not least, we have our dear Sogeking, God Yusuf. My name is... Sniper King! Usopp is one of the coolest characters in One Piece, because he is weak, and that's it, compared to any other member of the Straw Hat Pirates, he is insignificant, he knows it and his friends know it, but that's exactly what he does, one of the best characters. The Water 7 arc makes this very clear, but even today he lives in this dichotomy between being useful at the same time that he has not incredible abilities like his friends, yes he is smart, knows how to create weapons, and has the hockey of observation that he sometimes manages to use and sometimes he can't. So where could Luffy's powers affect Usopp? Right in your slingshot. What frustrates Usopp is not having destructive power and when he manages to do something it is as a result of an external factor, and this has always been what frustrated him, but if Nika's power alters his kabuto in a way that leaves his attacks extremely more powerful, more explosive, and with a much more accurate damage, that would be interesting for our dear marksman. Let him do the rest, he can be scared, his legs can be shaking, but if he knows that his shot will be decisive or that it will have a considerable effect, his confidence will increase a lot, and maybe that Luffy can do it, after all it affects the environment around you. Of course, Luffy could create new temporary weapons and equipment because I'd like to see how far Luffy's powers go when it comes to creating objects and sharing those powers with others. And you, what do you think of all this? But now I want to know your opinion about everything we talked about here today. Do you think that Luffy can really create new weapons and equipment for his companions? Is there a limit to Nika's powers or is that limit just Luffy's mind? But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video.